Defenders of the Christian Faith was a fringe political, pseudo-religious, fascist movement named in the Great Sedition Trial of 1944 as a co-conspirator to undermine the morale of the United States troops by spreading and selling Nazi propaganda. The movement was founded by Gerald Burton Winrod, who was on the board of directors of the Fundamentalists of the World, with Roy E. Davis, who ordained William Branham into the Pentecostal faith. Winrod was also connected to several key figures in Christian fundamentalism, such as F.F. F. Bosworth, John Roach Strayton, Paul Rader, who wrote William Branham's Only Believe theme song, and Charles Fuller of Fuller Theological Seminary. The group and its propaganda earned Winrod the titles Kansas Hitler and Jayhawk Nazi. Tampa Bay Times said it best, While the rest of America slept, the Nazis had crept quietly into the fold and gained the ears and minds of a gullible religious following. The main apostle of the hate creed was this same Gerald B. Winrod with a large and militant following in the Midwest. In Wichita, Kansas, Winrod directed a quasi-religious propaganda group known as the Defenders of the Christian Faith and was pastor of the Defender Tabernacle. He published The Defender with a peak circulation of 125,000. In 1925, former Secretary of State and three-time presidential nominee William Jennings Bryan took a firm position against the theory of evolution, calling it a, quote, duel to the death. His speech earned him the title of prophet and the defender of the Christian faith. The latter became a political slogan, and Bryan went on tour through the South, telling constituents that the entire southern United States was now, quote, the defender of the Christian faith. Newspapers responded tongue-in-cheek with nods to Bryan's ties to white supremacy by saying that, quote, a specific proof of Mr. Bryan's claim would be an ending of southern lynchings and feuds and a reversal of the traditional Southern attitude toward the humble black brother. After Bryan died in July 1925, several religious leaders attempted to carry the torch. None were so successful in doing so than Gerald Burton Winrod. Winrod organized a group in Kansas named after Bryan's slogan, which eventually grew to have international influence. Winrod hit the ground running by challenging Kansas laws against cigarettes and alcohol in the annual convention of the World Christian Fundamentalists, claiming that the laws were not strong enough and not working very successfully. Using the backing of fundamentalists, Winrod quickly turned the small group into a movement and began publishing The Defender, the official organ of the movement. The journal was noted for lambasting modernism in fine fashion. Winrod was so successful in igniting the movement that it quickly became dubbed the Flying Defenders, a nod to former Congressman William D. Upshaw's anti-saloon movement nicknamed the Flying Squadron. In just one year, the group had members in 85 cities and towns in Kansas, representing about 50 counties and had members scattered over 15 other states. The Defender claimed to have 10,000 subscribers and Winrod himself had spoken to over 200,000 people in Kansas to unite fundamentalists against evolution, alcohol, and tobacco. By 1927, Winrod was nicknamed the Brian of Kansas and the Kansas Cyclone, both a nod to William Jennings Bryan and William D. Upshaw. The group, however, was not without controversy. It was widely recognized as a fundamentalist Christian fascist organization due to Winrod's alignment with fascism and anti-Jewish propaganda. Along with the anti-evolution theme, Winrod mixed anti-prohibition, anti-cigarette, anti-feminism, and anti-homosexuality rhetoric. He also expressed strong support for racial segregation. Winrod characterized the movement as, quote, teaching and dissemination of historic Christianity, 
including an organized defense of the same against the encroachments of modernism. In December 1927, the group was officially incorporated in Topeka, Kansas. By 1928, the Defenders of the Christian Faith was a sizable force to be reckoned with in the United States. Twenty-two states in the Union had local chapters. Conventions packed auditoriums, filled hotels, and as many as a hundred homes per convention were open to out-of-town visitors. Well-recognized evangelists and revivalists headlined the events. In 1929, Chicago evangelist Paul Rader organized a national plan of attack against the teaching of evolution and modernism. Rader enlisted, quote, the most prominent fundamentalists in the country, which included Gerald Burton Winrod and Paul W. Rood, president of the Bryan Bible League, which was also named after William Jennings Bryan. Rader's strategy included a national convention of the defenders of the Christian faith to be held at the Cato Tabernacle, former headquarters of the Indiana Ku Klux Klan in Indianapolis, to persuade others to, quote, carry the fundamentalist campaign into every other state. Fuller Theological Seminary founder and Los Angeles Bible Institute representative Charles E. Fuller played a key role in the plan, holding daily Bible studies in the mornings. Fuller was a familiar face, having been a speaker at prior conventions. The defenders sought to persuade the nation that a literal interpretation of every passage in the Bible was the only way to find spiritual satisfaction, regardless of the genre of the book and without any allowance for metaphorical, symbolic, or allegorical passages. Rader announced a $1,000 reward for proof from critics that Adam did not eat an apple on behalf of the defenders of the Christian faith, offered by Winrod. In 1936, the defenders of the Christian faith became hyper-politicized, pushing a political religious fight against communism using anti-Jewish rhetoric. They were quickly recognized by Dr. L. M. Burkhead of Kansas City as part of a growing conspiracy to spread fascism and Nazism in the United States. According to Burkhead, Winrod was using the Defender's connection to Christian fundamentalism to push an anti-Jewish ideology, embedding hate speech into American Christianity. He considered it to be one of the most important anti-Semitic movements because Winrod's publications reached an estimated circulation of 150,000. Burkhead's fears were justified. Winrod and several others in the United States aligned themselves with an anti-Semitic speech from Adolf Hitler. Hitler declared that, quote, I believe I am acting in the spirit of the Almighty Creator by opposing the Jew. I am fighting the Lord's work. On January 3, 1944, the defenders of the Christian faith and 29 other opponents of American involvement in the war against Germany went to trial for conspiracy to undermine troop morale and to spread fascism in the United States. Winrod was named in the conspiracy for being outspoken against Jews and for spreading the Nazi-favored book, Protocols of the Elders of Zion, throughout the United States. Winrod not only sold the protocols to converts, he promoted, quote, practically every major anti-Semitic, anti-democracy, anti-British book published in the last eight years. This earned Windrod the title, quote, one of the most prolific publishers of Nazi party line literature in the country. Winrod founded a second magazine to reveal what he called the World Jewish Conspiracy and to reprint segments of the protocols. As a result, tens of thousands of fundamentalists in the South were spreading religious hate speech echoing Nazi propaganda. Winrod was of particular interest due to his 1936 visit to Germany, spending hours in the German embassy to hold consultations with Hitler's personal representative, Hans von Reitenkrantz. He was also of interest due to his sudden change in position and overnight wealth. In 1934, Winrod was a, quote, poor, struggling revivalist minister who declared Hitler to be spreading paganism. In the fall of that same year, however, Winrod suddenly changed. One article wrote, Somehow and from somewhere, he obtained enough money to finance a trip to Germany and remain there for several months. 
When he returned in February of 1935, he cleaned up all of his outstanding debts in lump sums by check, boasting to his satisfied creditors that while in Germany, he had met many important Nazi officials. He then began publishing pro-Nazi statements in The Defender. One quote from The Defender read, Nazism and fascism are as far advance of Bolshevism as the 20th century is from the Dark Ages. One stands for life, happiness, and prosperity. The other, death, misery, and starvation. When the co-conspirators named in the Great Sedition Trial of 1944 were released and the charges mysteriously dropped, Winrod accelerated his mission to spread religious hate speech. In January 1947, Winrod organized the Defenders Theological Seminary and printing company for the same materials that he was indicted for spreading. Winrod joined Klan leader Gerald L. K. Smith and used the organizations to back Senator Joseph McCarthy in spreading fear of communism and McCarthyism. Seminaries were planted abroad and Defender missions were established. A Defender's Theological Seminary was planted in Puerto Rico, for example, as well as a hundred chapels that spread Spanish editions of the Defender called El Defensor Hispano. In 1966, the Defenders of the Christian Faith rebranded itself as a charitable organization, opening townhouse retirement homes for senior citizens in Kansas City, Rogers, and Harrison, Arkansas. By 1971, two additional retirement homes were built, one in Beatrice and one in McCook, Nebraska. The secretary-treasurer, Myrtle Flowers, had toured with Winrod and fiercely defended him. Gerald Burton Winrod's son, Gordon Winrod, carried the torch of hatred after Gerald's death. In the year 2000, Gordon was sentenced to 30 years in prison for kidnapping six of his grandchildren from North Dakota and brainwashing them on his farm in Ozark County, near Mountain Home, Arkansas. He and the children armed themselves at Winrod's compound and began publishing letters to residents in the Ozarks, stating that, quote, the Jews are the Satanists who lust to murder. <laughs>